Welcome to today's Yin Yasa Yoga class. Today we will be exploring a fusion of Yin and gentle Vinyasa to help us mobilize the body and liberate the mind. We'll get started today in Mountain Pose Tadasana towards the left edge of your mat separating the feet about hip-width distance apart, relaxing the arms the length of the body, turning the palms to face forwards, closing the eyes. Feel yourself rooting down into the earth as you reach the crown of the head skywards. Taking one mindful breath, in this position. Gently blinking the eyes open, joining the big toes together, slightly widening the heels. Exhale, palms together at heart center. Inhale, raise the arms skywards, stretch the torso. Exhale, bend to the left, standing crescent moon, keeping the hips aligned. Inhale, center. Exhale, bend to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, step your right foot out, coming into goddess pose. Inhale, raise the arms, extend the legs, gaze up. Exhale, goddess pose, cactus arms. And again. Every time we bend the knees, doing your best to align them with the ankles. Engaging the core. Pause in goddess pose for a breath. Inhale, extend. Lower the arms behind your back, join the palms together in prayer position. Pivoting to the right, squaring off the hips, inhale, find length. Exhale, hinge the torso forwards, flat back, coming into pyramid pose. The back foot is on a diagonal. Toes are facing towards the outer edge of the mat. Lower the palms on the earth and melt your chest towards your front leg. Finding length. Feeling the beautiful opening for the hamstrings. Left palm under left shoulder. Inhale, raise the right arm, twist to the right, revolved pyramid. Exhale, skandhasana, low side lunge, bend the right knee, palms at heart center. Extend the left leg, engage the quadriceps. Option to come into an arm bind. Wrapping your arms behind your back and your right leg, maybe interlacing your fingers together. Gently release, palms at heart center, stay low, and find Skandhasana with the left leg bent. Extending the right leg, maybe finding your arm bind, listening to your body. Engaging the pelvic floor, feeling the strength of your inner thighs. From here, pivoting to your left foot, coming into a revolved pyramid, this time right palm on the earth. Chest pivots to the left, keeping the hips squared. Exhale, melt into your forward fold. Palms on either side of your left foot. Inhale, flat back. Palms together, Namaskar Mudra. Inhale, raise to center, pivot to the front. Raise the arms skywards, palms together. Exhale, goddess pose, cactus arms. Inhale, find length. Exhale, lower, squeeze the glutes. And again. On your next inhalation, step up to the right side of your mat. Palms overhead. Exhale, crescent moon to the right. Inhale, center. 
exhale, bend to the left. Beautiful work. Relax the arms, the length of the body, close the eyes, and take a moment in mountain pose. This is one side of a moon salutation. We'll perform this again in the opposite direction before we come into some gentle yin yoga postures. Exhale, palms at heart center. Inhale, raise the arms. Exhale, bend to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, bend to the left. Crescent moon, engage the core. Inhale, center. Step the left leg out, goddess pose. Cactus arms. Inhale, find length. Exhale, bend. Every time you bend, engage in the outer glutes to help you open the knees out to the side. Let's go for one more round. Pausing in goddess pose for a breath. Inhale, find length. Palms behind the back in Namaskar Mudra. Pivot to frame your left foot. Inhale, find length. Exhale, flat back, hinge the torso forwards, if possible, keeping your back parallel to the earth. Reaching the crown of the head forwards. Exhale, melt atop of your left leg. Feeling a beautiful opening for the posterior chain. Right palm under right shoulder. Inhale, raise the left arm. Revolved Pyramid Pose. Exhale, lower down, Skandasana. Extending your right leg, bending the left knee. Maybe finding your heart opener. Palms at heart center, stay low and find Skandasana in the opposite direction. Well done. Pivot to frame your right foot. Left palm on the earth, inhale, raise the right arm, revolve triangle, square off the hips. Press firmly into the blade edge of your back foot. Exhale, lower down. Melt atop of your right leg. Inhale, raise the torso flat back. Palms behind the back in prayer pose. Scissor the inner thighs, raise the torso and pivot to the front. Heels in, toes out, raise the arms. Exhale, goddess pose, cactus arms, and again. Finding your floor. Once more. And on your next inhalation, step up, join the feet together. Exhale, crescent moon. Inhale, center. Exhale, bend in the opposite direction. Inhale, center. Release the arms down by your side. And step your feet out to hip width distance apart. Taking a moment to notice how you're feeling. Notice how the body has responded to this movement. Notice how the mind has responded. When you're ready, let's turn to face the short edge of the mat. Feet hip width distance apart. Exhale, palms together. Inhale, raise the arms, gaze up. Exhale, swan dive forward, fold, bend the knees. 
Inhale out of the Uttanasana. Exhale, palms on the earth and step back to down dog. Stretching out the posterior chain. Inhale, float the right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee towards right wrist and let's find our sleeping swan, also known as pigeon pose in Hatha Yoga. Left leg is pointed out behind you. Option to lower down onto your forearms. Maybe resting your forehead on your hands. For a gentler variation, you can guide your right heel closer to your left hip. And for a more intense stretch, keeping your shin parallel to the top of the mat. Noticing the sensations around the outer right glute, the hip. Allow yourself to be present with whatever arises. Using each subsequent exhalation to help you soften and surrender. Gifting yourself one more loving breath in this sleeping swan. With the support of your palms, gently elevating the torso, tucking the back toes under, returning to down dog or tabletop if that feels right for you. Taking any movement between postures, and when you're ready, let's set up for our sleeping swan on the other side. If possible, finding the same variation that you took with the right leg so that we can foster a state of harmony within the mind and body. If ever the mind begins to wander, using the breath 
and the sensations of this experience to guide you lovingly to the here and now. guiding your attention towards this moment and on your next inhalation gently elevating the torso maybe coming into one final down dog or you can transition into tabletop whatever works for you and when you feel ready lowering the sits bones down onto the mat Extending the legs out in front, coming into Dandasana staff pose. It might feel nice to point and flex the feet a few times. And let's prepare for our next yin yoga posture, butterfly or bound angle. Finding an external rotation with both hips, flexing the knees joining the soles of the feet together as you allow the knees to splay out to the side. Option to stay upright, or perhaps you'd like to hinge the torso forwards. Find what works for you. Doing your best to focus on what the posture feels like, rather than what it looks like as you begin to let go.
taking one more cleansing breath in this deep hip opener. In your own time, using the support of your arms, your abdominals, to help you elevate the torso, raising the head last, maybe finding some gentle circles with the head and the neck. Mindfully close off the hip joints, move towards the top of your mat, ensuring that there's enough space behind you begin to roll it down one vertebra at a time, coming to lie on your back. If this is enough for you, you can rest here, otherwise joining us in snail pose or plow pose. We're going to mindfully use momentum to help us raise the pelvis, placing the palms along the back of your sacrum, beginning to guide the legs overhead and resting the pads of your toes, the balls of your feet on the earth. If possible, aligning your hips over your shoulders. If it feels all right for you, straightening the backs of the legs. And if you feel relatively supported here, you might like to release your palms from your back and extend your arms onto the mat. Find what works for you. Soften the facial features. Relax the throat, the jaw. We'll stay in this posture for about five or so breaths. Beautiful work, mindfully unraveling the spine, bending the knees and using the support of your palms to help you lower your glutes down onto the mat. Returning your feet onto the mat and perhaps windshield wiping your legs from one side to the other. Feeling a beautiful release for the lumbar and sacral region of the spine. Draw the knees to the chest and perhaps sway side to side. Taking any final movements. When you're ready, let's close practice today in Shavasana, corpse pose. Lengthening the legs. Relaxing the arms. Turning the palms to face skywards, closing the eyes. Giving yourself permission to rest in an abode of stillness as you receive the nourishing benefits of today's practice.
I invite you to stay here in Shavasana for as long as you would like. Take a moment to thank yourself for showing up today. Recognizing the courage and the strength that you have demonstrated. Know that this practice will always be here for you. If ever you would like a moment to reconnect with your well-being, sending you love and light, may you be well, may you experience true peace and joy. Namaste.